Hey guys, welcome to the latest Z Code System video here on YouTube. Great to have you back here this week as we take a little step away from the Premier League for our soccer betting video and we talk about the upcoming matches in the FA Cup. And this is the semifinal stage which will kick off on Saturday and continue on on Sunday with two big matches. We are just about ready for the final. Uh, we just have to get this semifinal out of the way and get our two teams ready for that big match at Wembley. When we have the final in May, which is going to have fans at the moment, um, the way that they are organizing it here in England. So some big things going on as things are getting a little bit more back to normal with more uh, restrictions being reduced here in the UK. So uh, we're going to be seeing fans back at football matches very soon, which can very much change the dynamic of things going forward. Now, again, like I said, we're talking about the FA Cup semifinals, which will be coming up this weekend um, on Saturday and Sunday. That's the 17th and 18th um, this weekend. So we're going to be looking at those games. As you can see there, we've got the zcodesystem.com backslash blog open, and you can go there whenever you need to get the latest picks that we post for the various sports that we cover on Z Code System. And of course, you can go over to the Z Code System VIP and use all of the tools that we have there. Um, I'll be showing you the Soccer Buddy tool, which is one of my favorite tools. We'll be looking at that today for our picks for the FA Cup, but you can use that for the various football leagues around the world, uh, whether it be the Premier League or La Liga or Bundesliga. You can use those, uh, use that tool that is, and get great picks there with the soccer buddy tool and of course and if i scroll down here on the blog you can see we have our we had picks up for major league baseball earlier this week um the 11th and we also had picks for last weekend's premier league matches so uh go over there check all that out uh before you go to the vip and of course you can always get the latest videos here on youtube now guys let's look at those two matches that we have coming up this weekend in the FA Cup. Okay, guys, so this is our first match in the FA Cup. It's coming up on Saturday, the 17th there, and it is going to be Manchester City taking on Chelsea in the first of the two semifinal games. And uh, in my opinion, this is the game to watch out of the two semifinals. This should be the most exciting, uh, the most thrilling, uh, whatever other cliched word you want me to use. Um, this should be that game as we have Manchester City and Chelsea going at it. Now, these two teams are two of the best in the Premier League this season. Manchester City are on top of the league. Um, they are look like they're going to win the Premier League title. Um, of course, they did slip up in their last game, uh, losing to Leeds United in the league, uh, which was a bit of a shock. Uh, losing 2-1 and um, also having a man advantage for, I believe it was 45 minutes of that game, but they still lost uh, that match at home. So we could see maybe Manchester City slip up a little bit. Their attention is um, not necessarily on the FA Cup or the Premier League at the moment, but their attention is on the Champions League. They go at it tonight. Now I'm talking to you on Wednesday, um, Wednesday, uh, April the 14th, and um, Manchester City will be playing later tonight in the Champions League quarterfinal second leg against Borussia Dortmund. Now, if you follow the Champions League, you'll know that they are leading that tie 2-1 after winning at home last week, and they go to Dortmund tonight um, hoping to hold off Borussia Dortmund. And I think this is going to be a really good game, uh, a great game to watch, uh, whether a fan or neutrals, uh, and you know, it could have a lot of bearing on how Manchester City play at the weekend. By all intents and purposes, they should defeat Borussia Dortmund tonight. I think it will be a very difficult game with them um, eking through. Like I said, it's 2-1 right now on aggregate, so they have the advantage. Um, but as we get to this weekend game, I think maybe their attention could be off of this FA Cup semifinal. Now, Manchester City are on target to win a potential four trophies this season, uh, the Premier League. Champions League, FA Cup, and the, Cara Cup, and the Caraboa Cup, uh, which they will be playing in the final on the 25th against Tottenham Hotspur. So that is um, you know, a big month of football for Manchester City. Um, they could stay on pace for four trophies, or they could come away with perhaps just having one trophy uh, by the end of this month. Um, I actually really like Chelsea in this game. Um, Chelsea were beaten by Manchester City earlier this year in the league. I'm going to throw that result out because that was under the management of Frank Lampard rather than being under Thomas Tuchel, who has um, really changed this team. They've only lost once 
uh, under Tuchel's management, um, something like 16, 17 games without defeat this season uh, since Tuchel took over. Um, sorry, 16, 17 games um, out of around 18 games unbeaten. They've only lost once um, under Tuchel's management, which was a, a shock result against West Brom. I like Chelsea again, like I said, for this game um, to spring an upset on Manchester City. And if you go back to last season's FA Cup semi-final, uh, it was this stage that Manchester City lost to Arsenal. So again, I think that they could slip up. A lot of the uh, a lot of this game, the bearing on this game, is going to depend on what happens tonight uh, in Germany against Borussia Dortmund. Um, and I think they're just going to take their eyes off the ball on this game. Uh, Chelsea did play last night in the Champions League. They defeated, F uh, sorry, let me take that back. They lost to FC Porto 1-0, but they go through to the semifinals of the Champions League um, based on <clears throat> the aggregate score of 2-1. So they're going to be going on to play either Real Madrid or Liverpool in the semifinals of the Champions League. So again, like I say, there's that 2-2 scoreline that we have there uh, is our prediction from Soccer Buddy. And I can very much see Chelsea getting on early, uh, getting on the score sheet early, um, maybe going to halftime there as we see that first half prediction, 1-0. Uh, I could see them getting on the score sheet early in this game, possibly going to a draw with Chelsea winning it in extra time. Or I could see really Chelsea picking up a victory in regular time. So uh, I'm going to actually be backing Chelsea in this game. Uh, obviously, they're the underdogs. But I do like the way that they're playing under Thomas Tuchel. And um, I think Manchester City could be running a little bit out of petrol right now going into this game. And again, like I said, I think their focus is going to be elsewhere, uh, just like it was last weekend against Leeds United uh, in the Premier League. And don't forget, they almost uh, lost that game or, or drew that game against Borussia Dortmund, I should say, um, in the first leg of the quarterfinals uh, of the Champions League. So again, I'm going with Chelsea on this game. Now we've got one more game that will be going play. Uh, excuse me, one more game taking place on Sunday uh, for the FA Cup, and um, this will be taking place between Leicester City and Southampton. Okay, so we have the score there, the prediction from Soccer Buddy for the game there between Southampton and Leicester City in the FA Cup semi-final. Now, Leicester City are slipping up at the wrong time of the season right now. They um, uh, are, are fighting for a place in the Champions League, Champions League qualification, that is, uh, and they are third in the Premier League at the moment. Unfortunately for Leicester City, though, um, they have lost a couple of games in a row, and right now they are um, edging on falling out of the top four and for the second straight season, missing out on Champions League qualification with a poor second half of the season performance. Um, Southampton, on the other hand, are well down the table. This is a team that was flirting with the top four at the beginning of the season. Um, and really since December, they have fallen off the pace. They were a team that was um, overachieving at times, uh, a team that was playing um, really good football, but they've they've fallen back to the mean um, since December. And to be honest, they've they've struggled. They've fought relegation, but they've gone really well in the FA Cup, eliminating Arsenal at one point uh, in the tournament to reach the semi-finals. And I do like uh, excuse me, I do like Southampton um, in this game. I think that they're uh, uh, a fun team to watch. Uh, Danny Ings, Theo Walcott, um, Che Adams, uh, their attacking players um, are, 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 are good and they play good football. Um, they, they've done well in the FA Cup as it is a, you know, a one-off competition and compared to the FA Cup, excuse me, compared to the Premier League where they have to be a little bit more consistent, um, they have just been able to to have that one-off football, those cup matches, and and do well in those. And I think that's really benefited them uh, where they haven't had to stay necessarily as consistent um, as they would have in the Premier League. And also, you know, they get up for these games. They get up for these cup games a bit more than they do for the Premier League matches. Like I said, Leicester City are slipping up. And, you know, there's this... I see Leicester City as a, as a bit of a flat track bully. They're a team that wins games against other teams. Um, they put some goals past them, but then in the big matches, when it really counts, this is a team that that uh, is, a, is a bit of shrieking, shrinking violet, I should say. Um, they they fell away at the end of last season, missed out on the Champions League, and they were in the Europa League this season, and 
uh, were in the round of 16 and lost to Slavia Prague at home 2-0 to be knocked out of that competition. And I wouldn't be surprised if they get knocked out of the top four um, this season in the Premier League. Uh, this is a team that um, they promise a lot but deliver little. Um, now, they've lost two games in a row in the Premier League. And although I do like Southampton to possibly get a result in this game and to move on to the semifinal, my head says Leicester City is going to pull this game out in some way, in some fashion. And um, they do have better players. They do have um, a better overall squad. And I think that they can, you know, like I said, in my head, I think that they can pull out a victory in a very close game. As you can see there, we have a 2-1 scoreline prediction. I like that scoreline as well um, for this game. Um, but like I say, I think they're going to edge... Uh, Southampton in the end, um, eke it out, perhaps a late winner um, from perhaps Jamie Vardy um, to go on to the final of the FA Cup and to meet, in my opinion, my prediction, Chelsea um, in that final, which would be a really interesting final uh, and one that would be fun to watch. Um, if you're like me, uh, you don't really want to see Manchester City back in another final. Uh, if you're a neutral, that is, uh, you don't want to see Manchester City back in another final. FA Cup final as they continue to uh, rack up the silverware. You want to see um, someone else, um, and preferably you'd probably want to see Southampton or Leicester if you're a neutral because you want to see uh, a team that uh, doesn't often get their hands on silverware. But that's who I'm backing for this one. I'm going to go ahead and back Leicester City. My head says Leicester City. My heart says Southampton. But uh, my money is going to go with Leicester City. All right, guys. So those are my predictions and our predictions here with the Soccer Buddy app for the FA Cup semifinal matches going on this weekend. So we're giving you these uh, these predictions this weekend uh, rather than the Premier League as we normally do because this is a huge weekend with the uh, FA Cup semifinal coming up. And you know what? We'll probably come back with another video soon uh, as we get down to our semifinals of the Champions League and we'll take a look at some of those games going on in Europe. Now, also, if you go to the blog and you uh, look at... Um, uh, look at that. You read that. Um, you'll get the odds courtesy of Bet365 for the outright winners in the FA Cup right now. And I can go ahead and tell you right now, Manchester City are favorites to lift that cup. And Southampton are have the um, have the uh, longest odds uh, to win the FA Cup. So you can go over to the blog and you can read up there and get lots more information that we didn't cover here in the video on YouTube. So guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And Obviously, sign up for Z Code System and use those VIP uh, those VIP tools and um, get these VIP picks for soccer, baseball, basketball, ice hockey, whatever sport it is that you follow. You can get VIP tools courtesy of Z Code System, and I will see you next time here on YouTube.